I predict that traffic will be terrible coming here today. Uh, excuse me, who are you? Madam Retrospect, thanks so much for being here. Can you tell us what's gonna happen on our show today? I will tell you later. You're doing it on purpose, sing like a singing on key. Talk to the girl that intimidates you, pretend that you're brilliant and charming. I said, pretend that you're brilliant and charming. Hey! Oh man, if I don't care, man, don't me, son. Now a man who puts the ool in April Fools, Jason Sewell! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Welcome, Lady oh. with Jason Sewell, Entertainment Ow. Television with Heart. Thank Two. you so much for joining yeah. us. We're excited. We've got a lot of energy uh, happening. Ooh, ooh. Shot out of a yeah, are you a superhero now? Yeah. What was the superhero name we came up with in the last show? Talk. Tart Sour Zone. Tart Sour Zone. Tart Sour Zone. That's Bo's superhero yeah. name if you were uh, wondering out there in TV land. How's hey, it going? It's going great, man. Yeah. I am feeling good. I am too. You know, this has our traditionally been our April Fool's Day episode. But it's of not the gonna show. be. Psych, we fooled you, it what is. What April Fools? Or are we? <laughs> We always have a lot of fun on our April Fool's Day. We've got a lot of stuff planned today. There's got a our, lot of fools on the show. I think there's going to be some unplanned things happen as well, so I can't wait uh, for surprises. that. Surprises. Yeah, surprise all the surprises, uh, including our guest today. We've Who's got never a surprise. We've got, <laughs> we knew this was happening, <laughs> we knew. but I don't really know her that well. She's a fortune teller. Her name is Madame Retrospect. Madame Retrospect ooh, joining us on the show. Ooh. I can't wait to hear what she has to say. We had a little fun, did some sketch comedy. That's coming up a little bit ooh. later in our show. And then down it is here. Sketchy. At our chef's table, we've got our great friend and resident mime, Chef Case Daguerreo, joining us. Thank you so much for joining us, Case. What's up, Case? Hey, thanks for having me, guys. I'm, I'm excited. The band sounds great. And Madam Rectum Spect, I think I, it's going to be a great show. It's going to be interesting, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Stop brown nosing. What are you going to make down there? I'm actually doing crumb cuisine. I know you guys have Ooh. all heard about this. You've been reading about Trending. it. Trending. We are going to actually dig into it now. I've been w working with the chef. The new chef, the new hot guy in Bentonville who owns Ovum and Tip, you know, the new egg and tri-tip place, uh, mm -hmm. Jason Cooper. So we're going to get in, and we're uh, he's not here because his wife's having a baby, but uh, we've right. worked on this menu. We're going to talk about it, Nouveau Crumb Cuisine. Crumb Cuisine, C-R-U-M-B. Sounds that crummy. Yeah. We like to call it N-double-C. Okay. okay, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen with that a little bit later in the show. Madam Retrospect is here, we're doing all the fun things. April Fool's Day happening right here, later with Jason Sewell. All right, it's Friday night. My girlfriend's on her way over. I'm gonna make dinner tonight. Hmm. I wonder if I should do something healthy like a salad or maybe a steak. Well, you know, buddy, I think you should really do something healthy. I mean, there are a lot of dietary needs right now. Uh, that, 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 that. It's true. Steak. Get your meat on. Think about yourself. Well, you're right. Maybe I could get my meat on her. But I still wonder if I do a steak, how would I cook it? Um, Medium rare all the way. I mean, I think you want to take into account the, what the she likes, you know? You need to ask her how she wants her steak cooked. This is like dating 101, man. It's true. I guess I should think about all that stuff. But if I um, really thought about it, and I was going to maybe do a couple of side items, I guess like, what, a potato, a vegetable? What do you think? Mac and cheese, oh. anything with sugar, butter, trans fats, saturated fats, all of it. If you want a potato, why don't you take that thing that's sitting on your left shoulder right now and just cook that up? Well, hey. Talk about a tater tot. I don't know. Let me think. Well, here's the thing. I mean, I can't go wrong. If I were to make a dessert, a really special dessert, she would probably... Bro. Stop. She's the dessert, you know what I'm saying? Oh. No, I think a really nice... Uh, 
like orange sherbet topped with a little Markham and Fitz chocolate would be really, really tasty. Sherbet? I didn't even know they made sherbet anymore. Oh, Since yeah. 1984. No, it's it's out and it's good. He still has Push Pops in his freeze. Well, that's another story altogether. Push Pop was his name in college. Oh, Actually, Push true. Pop is what I did right before I started thinking about this. I wonder though, if I should make dinner for her with my clothes on. Uh, yes. No. <laughs> All right, we're here in the leather gallery, ooh, at Sam's Furniture, and I'm joined by Tiffany Gerwell, Project Zero. Thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about Project Zero. So we're a nonprofit um, who works alongside DHS to find forever families for waiting children in Arkansas. That's an amazing mission. Where did the name Project Zero come from? Our whole goal is to see that there are zero children waiting in the foster care system for a forever family. I love it. And even explain a little bit about your bracelet there that says one plus one equals zero. Yeah, so the math is wrong, but one family plus one child will equal zero waiting and that's our whole goal. That's a great goal to have. If people want to find out more information about Project Zero, where can they find you? You can go to theprojectzero.org, find all the information there. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, joining me at the desk, it's our new correspondent, Madam Retrospec. <laughs> Madam, thank you so much for joining us here on Later. Thank you, thank you, Jason. Uh. I knew I would be here. You did. Mm, yes. You you could you foretold that you would be mm, here. Of course. Yes. Wasn't uh, it on the schedule? <laughs> because you were on the schedule, right? Well, of course. Do you have? Um, so we're we going to be doing some predicting or oh, some no? No, no, no. Prediction. Okay. No. Then what is it I that you do? I am the foremost expert on the past. Oh. So tell me I more about that. I see all. I know all. You know. I hear all. I do redictions. 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 So yes. you actually tell things that are in the past that have yes. happened. Things that have been. Okay. Mm. Great. This sounds now, ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you have? Oh, I get it. <laughs> do you have like a crystal ball or anything oh, like that that you use well, when you're redicting? I find magic in many objects. Oh. For instance, this beautiful microphone. Fully functional. I'm sure I could see what I need to see in it. Would you like an example of my work? Uh, we would, I mean, I would love, Bo, yes, I would love let's, for you to redict it. something. Right. It would be amazing. Right. Ooh, yes. Tangerine Ooh. dream, ladies and gentlemen. Jason, I see mm -hmm. yes. that you will have a television show. Oh, yes. And you will get picked up by the networks. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Very good. Whoa, oh, no, no, that, no. More? You There's will more? have two television shows. That is true. <gasps> That's Ooh. all happened already. Yeah. And you will have a sidekick, uh, uh, what? It's uh, called a co-host. Uh, a co-host. Yep. No, I think it's something like. Um, She's going to give it to you right yes. now, your title. Co-host. That oh, was what it was. Employees. Name Joe. Yes. What is his name? Joe. And Joe, Joe, I see that you, you are passing the bar. Who's no, this Joe? No, 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 guy? no, 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 Joe. You are behind a bar, and there are people playing with. Let's see. Uh, balls. Pinballs. That's what um, it is. Okay. And you never sleep. Well, that's true. That is that's, true. That's no, accurate. No, no. And Jason, Jason, yes. I see that you are going to be very rich and very popular, very famous. Oh, wait, now it's Well, no, bonked. excuse me, excuse yeah. me. <laughs> Maybe just famous. Yes, thank you. Not, uh, no wealth or anything like no, that coming to me. Probably not. And Bo, I think he mm. may have got a misreading on his name. His name, Bo, right? He ha does have a bar. You have a bar, right, Bo? I do, I do, mm. although I'm concerned about mm. this Joe character. Is there something you're not telling me, Jason? Uh, I mean, mm. co-host named Joe. I don't, I don't know. I, don't know. I just see Joe. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. 
a man named Joe. Okay, here's a question for yes. you. Yes, sir. Where did you get your skills from? Oh, where well, did where, your talent, the ability The spirits come? tell me yeah. what I have seen. Okay. Like, like the and whiskey spirits? And then I share them. Okay. What what are these spirits like, and how do they tell you? How do they come Vodka, to you? Vodka, gin, rum, tequila. I think that's what they're like. <laughs> well, that helps. Yeah. But they they uh, they just come to me. Mm -hmm. They come to me. They know what I've seen, and then they tell me mm -hmm. what I've seen and explained it all. I see all. I know all. I hear all. Okay. I am the Redictor. Uh, th that's your title. Like, and yes. also, if you were like a wrestler, you would have the name the Redictor, right? No, I have another name for oh. that. <laughs> What's that name? Can you redict what your wrestler name <laughs> Can't is? Can't share that one. Okay, no, 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 no. It's too good. A girl never tells. <laughs> in the in the future, I know it's hard for you to see into the future, but do you think mm. there's the possibility of us later with Jason Sewell, the show, sending you out into the community of Northwest <gasps> Arkansas to do some redicting out there in our world? What do you think? Oh, she's getting a reading. I don't know. Yes. Oh, great. Yes, I see I will be back with more perfect rediction. Oh, absolutely amazing. Thank you, <laughs> Madam Retrospect, for joining Thank us you. on our show. Thank you, Joe Bo, Bo Joe, whatever. <laughs> Stick around. We got more later with Jason Zool coming up right Woo! after this. Thank you. <laughs> Dixon Street Records brings you its 8th annual Organic Fest. Hey everyone, I'm Bebop Hatfield. And I'm El Shapiro. And we're bringing you details for the biggest organic festival in the Tri-State area. The biggest names, the most organic, and the best locally sourced grassroots culture is at the 8th annual Dixon Street Records Organic Fest. Everything is genetically tested at the gate to make sure there isn't a hint of genetic modification. We put the no in GMO. Ready for some food trucks? We've got 100 acres of food trucks. Over 1,500 selections. Your favorites like... That scant plant. The whippy hippie. Organic regrets. Violence-free shaved ice. The flimsy whimsy. Popcorn and piercing. And powder chow. Everything is biodegradable. Even the food trucks. No plastic allowed, no fossil fuels, no synthetic fabrics, and organic tents. That's right, Joe. Absolutely everything is made of hemp. You want sunscreen? Oh, we've got organic sunscreen. It's called the mud. Ha <laughs> ha! We're serious. If you pansies want sunscreen, don't be bringing that Monsanto chemical cocktail up in here. Oh, yeah. And don't forget the mandatory vegan eating contest. Sponsored by Farmer Johnson's Wieners. Competition is steep against returning champion, Organic Away. Thanks to climate change. We got microburst storms and hail followed by record high temperatures. Custom organic beard grooming. Full dreadlock service. More food trucks? There's gonna be the fly tie, the banana leaf, the ghost in the pepper, pure manure, shoots and roots, the mean goat, naked tacos, and no hairnet brets. That's some killer selections, boy. <laughs> I've been dying to try Shoots and Roots. I heard they don't even wash their produce. Yeah, yeah. So many fun activities. And stick around for the last day of the festival for the best shiitake mushroom contest. And if that wasn't enough for you, Sprouts, check out this list of special guests. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yoko Ono. Crescent Dragon Wagon. Case DeGuerreo. Alanis Morissette. And flat earther anti science guy beaten in Elon Musk pinata! Seriously, when that thing breaks, root vegetables come flying out! Follow us into a cave with no exit. A cave with no exit. Biodegradable zero impact bathroom facilities. And there's more, like repurposed trash furniture. Plus, we got organic 3D printed clothes. Everything is powered by solar or wind. And here's the best part. All the produce is the ultimate form of organic, completely ignored. They didn't even look at it when they picked it. Literally, I didn't even look at it when I ate it. Now that's organic, y'all. So get your tickets now, Sprouts, for the 8th Annual Organic Fest. And get ready to be truly organic. organic.
the eighth annual Organic Fest. See you sprouts there. Get off my case. Get off my Degario. Get off my case. Get off my Degario. Get off my case. It's Case Degario, Chef Case Degario, yeah, joining us on I'm the sorry show. Sorry, I kind of danced with a knife at you. I know, I like, tell just you what, felt it right. came kind of close, yeah. and it, I needed to shave. Thank you. <laughs> Talk what we, about what are we doing? Uh, all right, so you guys know that I get excited about new food, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the newest sort of thing that I'm seeing on the West Coast and the East mm -hmm. Coast, and actually in Indonesia, is this micro little cuisine little that we food see here? Yeah. Mic so what we're this doing is tiny. the pendulum swing because of the. Wasteful cooking of Western society. Capitalism and cooking. Waste and capitalism. Right. Now what we can do is actually dig down into the purity and the essence of food. And We're that's doing what, a deep, deep dive. It's a, a deep, 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 dive. deep redicting dive. Yes. No, that's what we're doing. So what I have here, guys, I've been working with this chef. You brought a library. Well, everybody that you see here, <laughs> yes, um, you have uh, everybody from. Well, she's no longer alive. <laughs> hey, Julia happy Child. Father's Day. That's right. Alligator Aww. Man. Ruth Reichel, who uh, a close personal friend of mine. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Crescent Dragon Wagon. We love her. Everybody is yes. on this thing right now. So. What we're doing, guys, I want you to, I have seven courses of food that we're actually going to have today. And Go I want to you to try town. it. Okay? okay. All right. So the first one, and I have, so I this, have the So I just want to, this is a seven course meal that we're having. Seven courses. And here's the thing. Food has to tell a narrative. It has to tell a story. A and short if it story. Doesn't, this, yeah, this one says you're gonna be hungry after it's you like, eat this. It's like hint fiction. So let's start with this first and use your fingers. That's what's so great about this. This is little leeks and crabs. Take little, a little pinch. Okay. Little leeks right? and crabs. So we've freeze dried the leeks. Okay. 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 Then we've thawed them out. Then we've crushed them up. And then with little crabs. And so what you're gonna find is you're gonna feel them kind of moving down your throat. Just really kind of moving down the throat to the bottom part of your torso. <laughs> I generally don't like to feel crabs moving anywhere. Right? And near my torso. But, but it mm. feels pretty good, though, right. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, and yeah. it tastes good. The next one, we have chicken calluses. Yeah. You know, what? we've heard about fried chicken livers forever, but these uh, are chicken calluses. The roosters have the little padding on the bottom. Yes. Uh -huh. What we do is we take them, we brine them, we braise them, uh -huh. we put them back out, and that's what we have. So <laughs> take that. Where do you right put them back out? On this plate? Right here. Chicken right. calluses. Is this a ch okay. Okay. This is give that a try. Mm. Okay, yeah. we have seven courses and we just dropped our beaker, so that's mm. not even a beaker. I would call this you a know pipette. What? This chicken callus isn't too bad. That's not bad. Actually. No, yeah, it's smoke not. Smoke it too. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, the next one, flavor. Bo, I'm gonna let you do yours. Okay. This is a sea bass teardrop. What? So what you do is the you heck? take the teardrop from a sea bass. <laughs> Does this give you good you luck? I feel like I need it. magical powers you after this. You freeze it, huh? And it's gonna make me cry. Yeah. Can I get can I get in on the sea bass tears? Do we just get in there? Right in there. What do you think about that? It's, oh, it's it, briny. It is briny. It tastes a little bit mm -hmm. like you know what? the bottom of Beaver Lake. Okay, First people ever to use the entire sea bass. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Oh, Here we go. Sea bass. The next one is a Bitsy Blini. So this Say is... Bitsy, what is that? Bitsy Blini. It's a Russian pancake made for babies by babies. So give that a try. It's tiny. <laughs> That's why. Babies is it made it. also from babies? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell so you. babies made me this baby yeah. pancake. A little bit little out baby, of babies. Little, little baby hands. Okay. Um, yeah. It's, Let's talk it, about wine next. You guys want to do some please. wine? Yeah. Okay. So get in here. This is actually a Cabernet grape. So it's a it's extracted. A raisin? Hold on. Let me finish. We extracted the juice, fermented it, okay. made the wine, put it back into the grape, dehydrated it. And that's what we have here. <laughs> and that's we call the last it a, step. Fancy it, raisin. It, what's it called again? We, we call it a wisen. A wisen. A wisen. Mm -hmm. Not to a be confused geisen. with a wisenheimer right no. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, the next one is an extra, extra short, short rib. Okay? Mm. So we've taken beef short ribs. <laughs> Can you see these tiny no. extra short ribs down here? Okay. Eat that very quickly. We're getting close. Is this? The next one mm. here. So crispy. That's good. I mean, this it's is called tiny a bacon. hollow. Melon. Okay, get that. It tastes Hollow like a melon. melon. Okay, take this. I'm pretty sure it's an olive. It's from Goshen. Nope, it's not. <laughs> what we have here. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so these are blue balls. What well, we do. We have plenty of those around here. You guys have heard of the Blue Sea in Venezuela. Uh -huh. I have a brother in law that's from there. Okay. What you do is you drink from the Blue Sea. Okay. You come across the border, <laughs> you extract, <laughs> make ice, mm -hmm. and then you lick it. Mm -hmm. And then we lick it. So I just need to lick these balls is what you're Thanks. telling me. That's what you just want me to lick the balls. Okay. What's the spoon for? 
from the Blue Sea mm -hmm. in Venezuela. Okay. Okay. Right, my finally, palate, my palate our is dessert. cleansed. Yes, cleansed. Thank you. The dessert. Finally, okay. guys, here we go. Mm -hmm. This is actually chocolate mousse. Okay. Made from milk that came from a mouse. I think okay. I saw that episode of The Simpsons. Yes, yes. And squirrel eggs. Okay. Okay. And then uh, squirrel Mark eggs? and Fitz chocolate. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm so thankful right. for Mark and, and Fitz for redeeming this mouse milk extravaganza. Mm, Try. I can taste the squirrel a egg. A petite, mm. little, little tiny flavor. Exquisite. No, tiny good. flavor. And it's rich. That I'm is glad it's so a tiny rich. flavor. It is a tiny flavor. Um, Man, that was guys, a seven more of this. course meal. Right there. And you know what? what's great yeah. about this? What's this? You don't feel miserable, do you? I don't. I feel good. And Not I just yet. ate seven courses. Oh, my that God. That is amazing. Seven yet. courses. Guys, I want to thank you no. for having me on this thank show. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks um, for providing the blue balls. You're welcome. Uh, I do. Everywhere I go, yeah, I do. Yeah. You, people can look you up at edibleculture.net. Right. If you're out there on the social medias, on the interwebs, find Chef Case DeGario. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Stick around. we got more happening later. Get out my case. And I'm my to Gary O. And I'm my Gary O. Hey, thanks for joining us right here on Later with Jason Sewell. Before we leave this show, we want to make sure to thank our guests, the amazing Madam Retrospect. And of course, the amazing chef, Case Gary O. That's right. Remember, you can find us out there on all your social media platforms. Man, smash that like button. Smash it! And then send us an email over at LaterWithJasonSewell.com. And hey, we want to make sure to wish you a happy April, April Fool's Day. Day! See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. <laughs>